Hi, in today's video, I'm going to show you two things. The first thing is how to set up very quickly your Retivis RT82 DMR radio for use with any hotspot. And the other thing is how to download the full DMR ID list from the DMR mic website and how to make it usable and readable by your RT82 radio. Please note that everything that's going to be shown into this video today is also uh, the same thing for the TYT MD 2017. So the first thing you need to do, go on my website and uh, click on content here. Well, just roll over your mouse and go into the HT reviews and click on the Retivis RT82 dual band DMR radio. And from that page, the first thing you need to do is download the simple code plug for, the, for any hotspot that I already made for you. So the only configuration you will need to do is set up your um, call sign and your DMR ID. So you just click on that. Please notice that it is a zip file and a zip file, you will need to decompress it before you can extract the config file. Then also, I already made uh, a pre-made image, if you want, or a pre-made CSV file, sorry, that you can upload directly into the radio. This is dated from February 10th, and it is the full DMR ID contact list. So you just click on it and download it as well. Okay, now that we have uh, the file downloaded, what you need to do is uncompress the hotspot config here. So what you only need to do in Windows is just double click on it and extract everything. Sorry, my, my software are in French. Then you extract into here and then you have the RDT file. You just cut and paste and put it here. Okay. So because it's uncompressed into that directory, I just remove the file and bring it to the same directory here. There you go. Okay, so we can get rid of the dots. Sorry, my website won't distribute an RGT file, so I needed to put it in a zip file. Now you have the two file. Now open your RT82 CPS software, okay? And go and open the hotspot.rdt file that you just downloaded. From there, go in general setting and enter your call sign here. And go in radio ID and enter your DMR ID, RD, sorry, your DMR ID uh, number. Now you can upload the file into your radio. Don't forget to download the file first from your radio uh, and do a backup and then now you have a ready-made um, cut plug for use with any hotspot. So if you don't intend to use your radio on repeaters or so, uh, this is a very uh, quick way to set it up. Now the next thing we're going to do is actually upload the full DMR contact ID list into the radio. So what we're going to do and you go on to your web browser and do a search on DMR mark. You will have database that will show here. So go into the database. And while you're in the database page, click here. You will have two links. So you need to click on the first link. And this will download the full DMR ID list. It will be called data dump dot cgi now what we have is the data dump dot cgi file and you will need to rename it for csv okay so you just rename the extension sorry C sorry <laughs> csv that's it and then what you're going to need to do is go into excel Microsoft Excel. If you don't have Microsoft Excel, please note that you can actually go and get 
for free, open office, and then you can download it and you have a spreadsheet software that you can use as well. I think it's called Calc, but the procedure will be a little bit different, but you'll be able to edit the file and do the work as well. So now let's go back to Excel and you need to go into data here. Sorry, my software is in French and you need to import from a file, which is a CSV. And now what you're going to do, hold on, I need to go in the right directory. You import the data dump dot CSV. Okay. There you go. But we forgot something. There's something important we need to do. It's actually when you upload a contact list into the radio, don't use this here because it's 10,000 max from here. You need to go up there where program, write contacts. And this is where we're going to download and upload to the radio the CSV, the full CSV file. And you also need to have the correct firmware that supports at least 200,000 contacts. Okay. So you need that correct software, which is usually the firmware will be called CSV because you can use CSV file. Okay. Something important we need to export. Okay. And do a test file as we exported in CSV. That's it. And you cancel this. Hold on and just minimize the windows. Do this here as well. So we have the test.csv file here that we're going to open with Notepad. And what we see is actually how the uh, what the radio is going to be expecting as information and columns uh, when you upload it. So you can see that every column is separated with a comma and we have all the column name. So we will need to have the information in the correct column. So now let's go back to Excel and we did import the file that we downloaded from, uh, from the website, from the MR mark. And we're going to reduce this. Hold on a second. So we can see all the column. Okay. And if you look, so this procedure could be the same with other radio, if you want to edit the file, by the way. So we have the radio ID, the call sign, the name, the city, this, oops, have between the name and the city, we're missing a colon. So we will do an insertion. We insert a colon and it is called nickname. So I will spell it exactly the same. Exactly the same with the capital letter at the right place. As you can see, nickname. Okay, and there you go, city, and it stop at country. So what we need to do is, hold on, delete those two columns, selecting on the top here, the column, like this, click on your right and do delete. So we delete that. So now we have the correct column set up, delete the top line error. No, I can't. So we will do it another way. Now we need to export that file into a CSV file format as well. So we will save as on this PC and uh, we will go here just to make sure we have in the same directory as all the file that we have. We will save it in CSV, they say here in French that it is uh, delimited, uh, sorry, it is separated with uh, comma. So that's what that is what we want. And we will call to usually you can use the name, we'll call it radio, okay, for the radio file. And then I save it. The, the name is doesn't matter, by the way. So I will save it like this. Oh, yeah, of course, if you have two sheets, it won't, it won't save the second sheet, but that's okay. It is save correctly. So we don't need to save that as well. So now we have the radio.csv file. Then 
open it with notepad you can see they didn't separate it with a comma they separated it with the dot comma and remember we, we need to remove the colon it generated automatically we delete that so to keep to have it like the radio and what we have here is that comma that we need to change so we go into edit and replace and put this replaced by a comma and then you replace all there you go now everything is fine we save that save that file and we go into the software go into the menu go in right contacts go into import and port that radio file wait a moment then it's import then you just write the contact into the radio click right uh, the radio will show you that it is actually being programmed uh, by the software it will take a little while to transfer so this is normal but uh, we will speed it up for in the purpose of this video and after it is done the radio is going to reboot uh, normally so now that it is transferred into the radio we need to go into the menu of the radio and you go in contact csv in under radio setting and activate the uh, csv file lookup now the radio every time it receives a signal it will look at the dmr id and try to match that with the csv file and then it will display the call sign of the operator that is actually transmitting i hope you did enjoy this video please subscribe please share please do a like always appreciated thank you very much and 73 for now victor alpha 2 papa victor will be clear